It's your boy, everyday meal. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I'm usually on that side. How much is that much? 350. <laughs> Look at me eating them like that. <sighs> Remember to stay hydrated. My name is Balin and today we are going to be talking about ranger eyes and patches. What makes them so collectible? What makes them so expensive? Stay tuned towards the end because we will be doing a giveaway today. But for now, sit back, relax, and let's get it. You guys are probably expecting Brandon in this video, but today you get me, Everyday Mule slash Everyday Maximalist. Comment below if you want an Everyday Maximalist patch. So to start it off, we're gonna talk about materials. Materials are gonna be PVC, which is gonna be majority of everything you see here. You're gonna have woven patches like this one here, and then you'll also have leather patches. Now we're gonna talk about how to get them. You can always score directly from the maker. Now you can also go get them on what's called the secondary market. The place that I get most of mine, if not from the maker, is going to be on Facebook on a page called e EDC Rehab. They sell everything, everyday carry, whether it's patches, whether it's pouches, knives, anything you can think of, they're gonna have them there. Now, what makes them so collectible? Everybody likes to customize their loadout, and patches are one way to show your style, just like an accessory or clothing. Now, let's dig into my collection. Let's talk about what I have, what I don't have, and the value and how I got them. Starting over here, we're gonna start with my favorite collection. It's all gonna be Castle Grayscale CXG or Smash Brothers gear SBG. Starting here, we're gonna see we have what's called the Spread the Love collection. It's gonna have one woven patch and two PVC rees. Next, you're gonna see the four that really started off Castle Grayskull and made him popular. You're gonna have the Mickey hands. These four are hard to get and they will cost you a couple hundred dollars per set is from what I've seen, but you can get them and they're some of my favorites. Here we have Salt Girl. In Mark's design he did what's called the Salt Slayer. You can see that this blue one is going to be a larger patch. It's gonna be one of the only ones that is in this size. Now towards the bottom, you're gonna see that I have a whole collection here of what's called carts. These are very, very well known for Castle Grayskull's designs. Let's go through them. So you have version one. This was the original cart that started the whole collection. Next you have V2, V3, Adventure Time, Blackout, Bootleg, Tenshu, and Akuma. As the most recent ones, you're going to have the Pixel. Over here on the end, you have Over 9000 and Majin Buu. I got almost all of these on the secondary. I got the Blackouts Direct and the Pixels. Collectability wise and price wise, the Blackouts are going to be the most expensive and the hardest to get. They're normally around $300 for the set. For some reason in the patch market, everybody loves Blackout and that's why they're so expensive and rare. Before we move on to the next section, let's give a quick second for today's video sponsor. This video is brought to you by the House of Blades, a premier knife dealer located in Fort Worth, Texas. We had the opportunity to visit House of Blades down at Blade Show, Texas, and man, was it absolutely insane. They literally stock any knife that you can possibly think of anywhere between Chris Reeve knives, Benchmade, Spyderco, ZT, Kershaw, Civivi, Wii knives, you name it, and they will probably have it. And if you're into personalizing your own knife or water bottle or whatever it might be, they actually have a crazy laser engraving room that we got to see. These machines cost thousands of dollars, but if you email House of Blades, they'll charge you like 10 to 20 bucks to get your own logo or whatever you want onto that surface. Now, if you plan to get anything from House of Blades, use code EDM for 10% off your entire order. Thank you so much to House of Blades for continuing to support Everyday Minimalists. I wouldn't be able to do what I do for you guys without them, but let's get back to the video. Next, we're going to have some more of his original designs that take inspiration from games and or movies, things like that. So you have Orko, Chun-Li, you have Akuma and Tenshi, which are originals, and Bulma. Now what you're gonna see here as well is you're gonna see duplicates and different colors, and those are gonna be known as chases. They're very well known in the CXG and patch community that you can get a chase variant. This gray one here is going to be a chase of this one here. Chase patches are generally given as a gift when you buy a set. Sometimes you can score them direct from the maker, but most of the time they are just given randomly. Next, we're gonna dig into more some more expensive ones. So here I have a Lousy Values collection with Castle Grayscale. This red one here is gonna be known as the chase variant for it. Now I paid quite a bit of money for these because I wasn't around in the EDC game when these released, but I knew I had to have them when I saw them. This purple one here, I probably spent around $150 and the red one, it was close to 300. Now you're gonna ask, why would you spend so much on it? To me, it is extremely rare and collectible and I love them. Next you have Salt Nurse and the chase variant. So chases can be completely different or they can be very similar with the slightest change. So in this Salt Girl here, you you can see the difference is that she doesn't have a patch.
patch. This one does, and that's what makes it the chase. Next, we have some more his most recent sets. It's gonna be the Pretendo, Patch Freak, the controllers, and the Famicom. I scored these direct from Mark, and these are some of my favorites as well. I grew up playing Pokemon, so this Patch Freak really connected with me, because if you've ever played Pokemon, you know in the OG Game Boy days, this is what came up on the screen. Next, we have Final Fantasy inspired collection here. So all of these right here, as well as this circle patch are gonna be from a Final Fantasy pre-order. You were able to buy them when you pre-ordered some of their merch. As you can see wearing right now, I'm wearing a Castle Grayscale shirt. These two here are gonna be from the holiday collection from last Christmas. They did a charity drive and basically every patch collection that they sold, they gave to charity. Next, this round right here is very, very collectible. You can't sell them, you can't buy them. They're supposed to be trade only. And this is the spread the love round. Makers will do this when they don't want something to be sold, they just want to give back to the community. So the way I received this was I was doing a giveaway on some patches in the page and Mark decided to mail me this. I can't sell it, but I can trade it if I decide to. Next we have the pixel and grayscale collection. So this is the pixel round and these are two grayscale PVC rees. Down here you have two of the pixel girls. They're Similar to Akuma and Tenshi, but they're all grayed out. Down here, you have two of the, the grayscale rounds as well as the PVC squares. These ones are gonna be more common as they were part of a pre-order when you bought their apparel as well. So they aren't super expensive. They're more common to find and easier to get. In the middle here, this red one is going to be known as the Red Salt Slayer. This one is somewhat common and somewhat hard to get, but you still can get them. They're roughly around 150 bucks on the secondary. This set here is a collaboration as well, with Yoshizaki. They are very expensive and they're very hard to get. I generally see them going for around $250. I did get them from the secondary, but I did get a good deal on them. Next, we have the Future Relic collaboration with Castle Grayscale. These ones are gonna be orange with a white border and I love them. They look really good. I'm just afraid to use them because I think I'm gonna get them really dirty and I don't wanna do that. Next, we're gonna jump into Smash Brothers gear. Down here, you can see that it's mainly gonna be based around Pokemon and everything Smash Bros. So here we have what's called Skeletu. These are all collabs with Castle Grayscale as Mark designs a lot of their work. These three here are going to be hard to get, but aren't gonna be very expensive. This middle one here, the grayscale is going to be a chase variant, but you can still get it if you can find it. The Skeletu Rees, generally I see them for $65 a piece. They're very hard to find, but when you do find them, you should jump on them. Next, we have the Kirby Girl. Kirby Girl, the yellow background is going to be the, the normal one, and then the black background is gonna be the chase. Like I said before, there's not a lot of differences in them other than maybe the lens color and the background color, but this one is very hard to get. I have not seen very many for sale, but if you can find one, I would definitely jump on it. Next, I'm missing a lot of toads, but there are a few toads here that I have. We have the stoplight set. I have a duplicate of this one here and then the dead toads. Next, I have the full Bowser collection here. This was one of my first ones that I scored from Smash Brothers gear. When I first got them, it was just this green patch here, these two rees and this green shell. This gray and red one came after. If you had the original card that it came with, which is known as a COA, you were able to then buy one of these. You don't see them very often as a complete set most people will take just the ranger eyes or just the patches and then they'll sell off the others so a lot of people have incomplete collections because of this this next one here this red round is going to be just like the spread the love one it's not something that you can buy it's not something that you can just get you have to get given this and or traded from someone else here i have a meta knight and the kirby set these two i love i use them all the time i don't normally go with a lot of yellows but as you'll see in the next set i do have a lot of yellow stuff that i like to use here we have waluigi's and and then these are some of the more recent ones, the power blocks. And that's all for my Castle Grayscale and Smash Brothers gear collection. I used to have a lot more. Um, like I said, I sold a lot of them. Now on this side, we have various makers and designs. So let's get into them. Over here, we have stacks and they're gonna be more based around like streetwear and shoes and stuff like that. So if you're into that, I highly suggest checking them out. They're very common. You can get them anywhere on the secondary and they're great to have in your collection if that's what you're into. Next, we have Bonesy. I only have three sets of them and one incomplete of the first generation, but I do love their stuff. I rock them all the time. Next up here, I have Red Bull cans from Lousy Values. They have many, many other designs, but I'm not super into it, and I might start getting into it, but this is all I have for now. Down here are gonna be some of my more favorite ones. I love Starco. I recently got an 8-bit, and it's really hard to get their patches. This question block one here is super, super rare, and I never th see them come for sale. There's only 25 of them in existence, and they generally go for around $350. I use this all the time because of my Castle Grayscale collection and my Smash Brothers 
collection. It goes really well in design with a lot of them. Down here, I have AFK. There's only two of them here. I'm trying to get more of them, but these are going to be leather patches. So they're not going to be raised and or elevated like some of these other ones, but these ones are going to be just flat with the design etched into them. Over here, we have to have our everyday minimalist stuff. We have the blackouts. Those aren't for sale. And then we have the glow in the dark that we did release at one point in time. Down here, you can see I have this big stacks boxy. This was supposed to be a color your own version. A lot of people give them to their kids and they would just color on them and make it their own design. And I really love that, that he did something like that because no other maker has done anything like that yet. Up here we have beer bombs and this is all notorious EDC stuff. I love his Nux and I really love that we were able to get some of these. Here we have live with purpose. Shout out Ron, Ron Kwok. He gave me this one at Blade Atlanta and this is his new design. It's textured and I absolutely love it. I love the blackout colors because it goes really well with all my other blackout stuff if I ever do a loadout. Up here we have Scoopy Loops. I only have these two for now and I'm looking to get more, but they are very hard to come by. I never see them for sale. Next we have the JRW collection and shirts collection. Jamie's a homie of ours and I've been collecting his stuff for a long time. So I'm looking to get more. If you guys have any for sale, let me know. But we have large patches. We have the judge patch down here. Most of this stuff is all going to be stuff that you can't get very commonly. I see them for sale sometimes, but they're pretty hard to get. Next is going to be the shirts collection. Jamie created this patch company specifically for collaborations with other makers. I have Scoopy Loops, I have Starco, I have CJ's Cave. This one's specifically just JRW as well as these ones and then you have ReClub down here. On the next page it's going to be Data Crew. We love working with Data Crew and as you can see here we did collaborate with them with some of these patches. So you have the Data Minimalist set. I'm missing a few colors but I love their stuff. I love the skeleton design. So you have coffins up here in different colors. You have the Data Crew goat or the Data Crew skeleton here as well as the full skeleton on these colors here. Next on this side over here, these are all going to be everyday patches as well as these ones here. I love their stuff. Size of them fit really well so that way you can fit more on your pouches. Down here we have a couple from Pouch Crew. I love these because they resemble the North Face design. I love North Face clothing. Next up here, the dadding patches. These ones are from our buddy Ricky Erling, Erling EDC. These are very popular. I'm not a dad yet, but maybe one day that I can actually put these to use. Here we have stacks and Carryology collaboration patches. So if you're into backpacks and stuff, you know what's up with these. And on the back page here, I have some Matsuda patches. So these are all glow in the dark here. These aren't traditional woven and or PVC. These are actually just plastic that are glow in the dark. And I haven't yet to find a loadout to use them, but I absolutely love them. These ones here are gonna be more like carpet fabric on these two here. And I have, these are a little bit big for me, but once I get into backpacks, I think I can put good use to them. Now that's just about everything in my collection. Let's talk more about how we can get these. If you wanna score direct drops, they can get very competitive and you have to be super fast with them. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get into the Facebook groups. They're going to announce when they're doing them, exactly what time, how many they're releasing. That gives you an advantage when you want to score them. I suggest going straight to the Facebook groups because they're going to tell you exactly what they're going to have. They're exactly what time and what day they're going to be dropping them. And that gives you an advantage compared to most other people. And that's about it for my entire collection and everything I want to talk about today. If you guys have any questions, comment below. I'll be looking through them. I can answer them there. So let's get into the giveaway. Castle Grayscale was kind enough to donate some patches to give away. So here I have three spread the love woven patches. I have a complete Chun-Li set without the chase as well as the pixel set. So you're going to get the cards, you're going to get the round as well as you're going to get these two here as one complete set. All you got to do to enter this giveaway is comment below who your favorite patch maker is and what got you into them. We'll close entries on the 25th at midnight and we'll do a live drawing on the 27th. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see more of me on the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.